Emma to get caught by me. My name is Adaigwe. You put your hands on a child. I am a lawyer. Objection, my lord. I specialize in fighting for the less privileged women and children. Are you right? This is a great case. Two months ago, a 14-year-old girl was found at the chief's residence. I get fulfillment tackling and put in bars. She's broken out. The other way. Do it now. Madam. I feel really disgusted about this. That evil. Threatening to ruin everything. You promised to protect me. Everything that I've built. That I am. That I want. That I can't. Change. I don't feel anything for them. I hate them all. I hate them. A woman who has put herself in the forefront of giving justice. There's something in me I can't, I can't control it. I don't want to talk about it! I think he's dead. But I was caught loose today. Those bastards fired me. But what did you call the name of that church again? Holy Life Ministries. Yeah. Stop, hallelujah! Please welcome Miss Ada Igwe. Get in the car. Ada is very selfish, bitter, and also an ambitious person. I think I've messed up. People, welcome to yet another amazing time with me. My name is Chacha Wabara, and today we'll be reviewing the, the Nigerian movie known as Alter Ego. It's such an amazing drama. Now, Alter Ego is a Nigerian movie that is amazing. I knew when this drama was being filmed, I heard so much about this drama a couple of years ago. I think. Uh, 2017 2018 and everyone was all up about it and talking about it but i never got to see it <laughs> so i'm seeing the movie now and it's such an amazing movie okay so it has amazing actors and actresses like omotola dalade wale ojo kunle remi esther eibio emen inwan tina mba jide koshoko michael okon Camilus Oji Ibe, Chiemela Azukunowa. It was also directed by Moses Ewang. It has scenes that contain sex and all of that. Now it has to do with this lawyer who, that is Motala Jalade, who um, specialized in bringing rapists, child molesters to book like making sure that they get punished using the law. It showed her rise to stardom. Everybody knew about her. And then we have this guy, Wale Ojo. Wale Ojo is a character that I am beginning to like. He played somewhat <laughs> yopi guy, not really too yopi, but a mature guy, rich, sophisticated, that was interested in Omotolo Jalade because he was a well-known philanthropist and he was working in collaboration with the UN and doing this IDP campaign. And so he was after the education of refugees um, from the north who were now in IDP camps. So it showed how Omotala Jalade also had a psychological problem where she you know, would always sleep with men working with her. Not necessarily men working with her, well those ones who are within her vicinity, within her vision. So you know, when she would get the itch or the urge, she would sleep with them and get disgusted with herself. So she also had a therapist, it was a Tina Amba, who was also helping her through that problem. So it happened that Omotala Jalade was abused when she was 12, 13 in school by her PE teacher and she couldn't tell anyone. So it turned her into a nympho. Okay, so the, the best way to cope was through, you know, having sex with people. 
men, guys, that she could control under her employment. But it got so bad after some time, she slept with her sister's fiance, which was Kunle Remy. There were some, like, some sexual scenes there that I was like, oh, wow, okay, that's Nigerian movie, okay. Moving forward, her relationship with this Wale Ojo progressed from the way, because she never used to go into relationships but she started liking Wale Ojo and from there brought her into partnership to to help children who have been sexually abused and all of that and she will now travel with him to Abuja to these IDP camps from there she met a girl after so much like she saw the girl and it was like a kindred spirit later on the girl opened up to her that she had been sexually abused and she was someone's sex slave now the sex slave of Wale Ojo and she's like you must be joking do you do understand what you're saying do you know what you are doing? Do you know what you're saying? Do you understand what you've just said? And the girl is like, I'm telling you, this guy is it. This guy, you know, started sleeping with me. He didn't say anything. If you talk, he will send his boys to beat you up. And she was scared for her life. So Omoto Lajalade took up the case and confronted her boyfriend, Wale Ojo. And Wale Ojo, first he denied, later on he owned up. And he was like, I know you too, what you do. I thought you were going to understand me. I was also abused, blah, 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 blah. blah. And she's like, if you are really abused, abused okay and you know what you felt how you felt when you were getting abused then you don't abuse the next harmless victim too so sitting somewhere and telling yourself that you are abused which gives you the right to abuse someone else that means you are the same with your abuser which boils down to the same thing you are guilty and if you don't want to own up and now meet you in court and put you you know where you belong and then so many things happened of course her sister came to court and almost messed up the case because she was upset that she slept with Kune Remy but I at the end of the day you know they got the case now this movie is kind of like an educating movie and it's not really educating it's illuminating okay there's nothing educating about it it's illuminating trying to make the audience understand of sexual victims some more on the other end it was expository for me the filming was okay the sound was wonderful the, the movie progressed how i wanted it was an excellent movie moses ewan did well you won't even know that it's a 2017 movie without being told it was in good standing with the times and it delivered the message beautifully well there was no love i, I was not bored at any time and i didn't think that oh okay why did they end it like this or no 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 everything was well done the you know the plots developed the way it was supposed to develop and it was delivered beautifully well i'm going to be rating this movie is seven over ten yeah which brings me to the end of this movie review if you've seen this movie i'd encourage you to drop um, a comment down below I'll be sure to respond and if you haven't registered please please and please do hit on the subscribe button do turn up your post notifications to be alerted when new videos come up yeah yeah good so I'll see you some other time. Thank you so much for watching.